I'm Allendale's Chief Meteorologist Ryan Martin with a look at your midday weather update. High pressure sits over the Corn Belt right now. You'd be hard-pressed to tell, depending on where you're at in the Corn Belt. There's a fairly decent amount of cloud cover that's kind of meandering through. We've got a good chunk of clouds over Missouri and a Western parts of Illinois, parts of Indiana still under cloud cover. There's a surface trough exiting Indiana and kind of holding through Ohio. Then you go up into the upper Midwest, and you've got clouds in advance of a frontal boundary that's coming out of the northern plains that's in. So, yeah, there's high pressure close by, but this is not the same kind of high that we've seen here recently that just bathes the entire Corn Belt in beautiful, sunny, dry weather. It does look like, though, we're going to be putting most precipitation at bay over the course of the next few days. I really think we're going to have to wait for our next weather system to kick up and uh, move out of the desert southwest before we see good moisture move across all key ag areas. That low is just to the east or maybe even right on top of Las Vegas right now. It depends on where you want to analyze it. Good cool front coming out of that with good precipitation across Arizona, southern parts of Nevada, and coming out of Southern California. Look for this to kind of congeal around several other minor lows in the Four Corners region, and then we expect this to eject out into the Central Plains probably as we head into midweek, Wednesday, uh, maybe even a bit sooner, depending on how things come together. This will throw precipitation over the hard red winter wheat belt first, and then it continues to throw out to the north and east. We'll see this move across the Corn Belt from Oh, I'd say probably late Wednesday, Thursday, right on through Saturday. Looking for rains to come out of it, I think we'll see coverage about 75% of the Corn Belt, maybe just a little bit better. I like rain totals a quarter to three quarters of an inch right now. So uh, we're not going to be setting any precipitation records here, but it will be a nice little batch of moisture that comes through. By Saturday midday, it should be clear of the Corn Belt, and we'll see high pressure come in behind. Going to have to watch that high pressure closely. It's going to be Canadian or in origin, so we'll see temperatures try and pull back a little bit. However, we're not looking at the real cool air coming there. As a matter of fact, looked at some temperatures in the northern plains as we go through this weekend. The Dakotas could be making another run into the lower and middle 80s as we go through Saturday and Sunday. So, yes, we've got cooler air coming in behind the front, but we also see a pretty good push of south wind across the plains. So that'll keep temperatures, I think, in check over most ag areas and in the Corn Belt as we go into the early part of next week. However, pay attention to a system that tries to work through around the 14th into the 15th. It's very minor, doesn't have a lot of moisture with it, but what it does have is a significant cool blast behind. If models are correct, we're going to be seeing temperatures very, very cool, but the thing is, even if we were having to throw out the frost word, which I'm not right now, I don't think we're going to be quite there, this is about the time that you see those conditions come into areas around I-80. Not quite down to I-70, but close. You know, you get the idea. It's about time for this. And if we don't get it, which I do think is the key here, I, I don't think we see temperatures go all the way down into the lower 30s. I'm more interested in probably lower 40s. But even if we, if we don't, we're looking at extending the growing season beyond what we normally would. So it would be real interesting to see how other outlets spin that cool air blast. But right now, we don't think it's a big deal. What we are interested in is what comes in after that. Looking at a big push of south and southwest flow, an ice front that could have anywhere from a half to one and a half, maybe two inches of rainfall potential as you go into the 17th and 18th. Guess I'm not going to jump all over that just yet, mostly because the one model that shows it the best is also the model that I don't trust any farther than I can throw. So right now we'll say, yes, there's potential maybe for some good rains just past mid-month, but we also think that as we get closer to that event, there's probably going to be a lot less moisture that's usable. In terms of international weather at this point, we're taking a closer look now at South America, still seeing good rains over the southern part of Brazil, down into Paraguay, Uruguay, and even extreme northern Argentina. But in some of these areas in Mato Grosso, Goiás, where they really want to plant, um, everything seems to be evaporating as it gets in. That's in line with what we were talking about last week. We don't see any change to that pattern, at least for the next 10 days and probably closer to two weeks. It will come. The change will come, and we will see some moisture work in. But for right now, planting, if they want moisture first, planting is probably going to continue to wait in a good part of central Brazil. More dryness working into Australia. That pattern has not changed. Strong high pressure keeping the moisture at bay. And we're hopeful to get a little bit of moisture in here probably Wednesday, Thursday, over the southern region in the Black Sea, Russian areas. But a large part of Ukraine and a large part of the uh, winter grains areas still not going to be getting quite what folks want. That's the way things are stacking up. If you've got any questions on the weather, give us a call at Allendale. I'm Chief Meteorologist Ryan Martin.